To make a warm and cool koi pond design, we are first going to draw some fish. And we're going to start drawing the fish by just making a shape that looks like this. And then we're going to add some teardrop shapes up here and back here to give it fins. And these are abstract fish, so they don't have to look realistic. Okay? But I'll put another one over here. I want to see at least three fish in your design. One of mine is going to be going off the page. I'm going to put another one up here somewhere. Can make just some kind of an oval shape with a tail on it. Looks almost like a word balloon from a comic. And then we put some little fins on it. Okay. And these are basic fish shapes. We're also going to be putting some lily pad shapes into the image. Lily pads look kind of like this. So we have some lily pads in the pond. We have some koi fish swimming around in the pond. Now, <clears throat> we're going to make an abstract design of this. These fish and lily pads are already kind of abstract. But we are going to put some lines through everything. We're going to put some wavy lines through all of our fish and lily pads and just all over. Can be crossing over, overlapping. I'm gonna put a line here that goes all the way across. Put another one here. I think I'll put a circle that goes all the way around there. So we're just making a lot of crossed over lines on top of what we drew already to make extra spaces. Because we're going to use these extra spaces to add color. Each one of these little ex each one of these little individual spaces that we're creating is going to have a, its own color. And you'll be repeating some colors but you're going to be making a lot of spaces so we have a lot of different areas of color. Okay. Put another little curve up here. I'm going to put another one over here. Okay. So this is a pretty full design. I think I'll leave it at that. So you want to get your fish, and you want to get some lily pads, and you want to get these wavy lines crossing over everything. I think I will put one more. Eh. I'll put one more going like this. Give myself a few more spaces of color. Okay, so when you color it, in the water areas, and, the li and on the lily pads, you're going to use cool colors. So you're going to use shades of green on the lily pads. You're going to use shades of blue or purple in the water. I've got shades of blue here. If you don't have this many colors, you could just go purple, blue um, for the water. And then you could go green and maybe blend green with a yellow to get a lighter green if you're using colored pencils. I used markers for this. You can use watercolor, you could use markers, you could use colored pencils. But the point is to make a design, an abstract design, showing warm and cool colors working together. So the fish really stand out from the cool colors because they are warm colors. They're orange, red, and yellows. And the background is cool colors, greens and blues. Okay? Now, you need to make enough spaces with wavy lines, individual spaces, individual areas to make it interesting. 
I don't want to just see somebody drawing a line here and a line across the middle and then coloring four big areas and calling it done. You need to make these wavy lines cutting through the fish and cutting through the whole pond. These create movement, a feeling of water and movement, okay? Creates kind of a rhythm and we want to see that in your work. So that is about it for the warm and cool koi fish pond. I hope you enjoy making it. Remember at least three fish, get a few lily pads, and just a lot of wavy lines crossing over and everything making these individual spaces. I hope you enjoy making it, and I will see you next time.